these notes are available in the description of video please download your notes in today's lecture we will clear fluid mosaic model of cell membrane it is singer and nicholson model it is protein icebergs in a sea of lipids dear students this fluid mosaic model very important lecture for all competitive exam students and bsc students this is final exam topic this fluid mosaic model and this model was given by singer and nicholson in 1972 which is best accepted model of a cell membrane according to this fluid mosaic model the phospholipid molecules which are present in this cell membrane these are found in a viscous bilayer like unit membrane model like lamellar model like robertson model and here according to this model fluid mosaic model according to singer nicholson model the proteins which are present in cell membrane these proteins are found on outer surface as well as inside the phospholipid bilayer it means in this fluid mosaic model the protein molecules which are alpha which are globular proteins and these proteins are present on outer surface on outside as well as inside this bilayer phospholipid bilayer it means here proteins are which are present outside are extrinsic peripheral proteins and the protein molecules which are present inside the phospholipid bilayer are intrinsic or integral proteins that's why this model is also named protein icebergs the small pieces of proteins like icebergs which float in a sea of lipids it is a quasi fluid state of this phospholipid molecule which exists in quasi fluid viscous fluid nature this fluid mosaic model it is characterized by point number first plasma membrane the cell membrane the bio membranes and that is a trilaminar that is tripartite having three layers this middle phospholipid layer it is bilayer it is light layer and the proteins which are present on outer surface on this outer side and inner side of this phospholipid bilayer it means the outer layer that is p protein layer thus this inner layer again it consists of globular proteins it is p layer and this middle phospholipid layer which is bi layer it is light layer but the protein layers these are dense layers so the cell membrane which is trilaminar it is represented as p protein layer l lipid protein outside protein this middle bi layer it is l lipid layer and this inside the protein layer it is represented as p so it is p l p protein lipid protein layer or protein layers it is dense layer so it may be represented as d dense layer l this phospholipid layer it is light layer so it is l and then this inside this inner layer which is which is dense protein layer so it is represented as d d l d or p l p protein lipid protein layer but this phospholipid middle bilayer it is a double layer so it may be represented as all competitive exam students please note down this middle phospholipid bilayer may be represented as l l so the cell membrane bio membrane becomes p l l p protein lipid lipid middle bilayer or it is d l l d d 
it is dense layer protein layer is dense and phospholipid layers light point number second phospholipid bilayer is fluid in nature no doubt it is a viscous it is viscous bilayer it's phospholipid molecules in this middle layer the phospholipid molecules these molecules show two types of movements one type of movement that is transition movement transition movements means the phospholipid molecule change their position in the same layer these are phospholipid molecules which may change their position in this layer that type of movement is transition movement and second type of movement that is flip flop movements in this flip flop movement the phospholipid molecules of both layers can be interchanged not down in this middle layer which is made up of phospholipid molecules here the phospholipid molecules show two types of movements one is transition movement means the phospholipid molecule in the same layer may change its position but in the flip flop movement the phospholipid molecules of both layers can be interchanged point number next protein molecules in this fluid mosaic model the protein molecules which may be on outer surface or may be inside the phospholipid layer these protein molecules are globular these protein molecules are alpha proteins not down each and every point the proteins which are present in cell membrane are globular are alpha proteins and these protein molecules are of two types the globular proteins which are present on outer surfaces and these proteins which are present on outer surface on the phospho on the outer side of this phospholipid layer are extrinsic proteins while the protein molecules which are present inside the phospholipid bilayer are intrinsic proteins these extrinsic proteins constitute about 30% of proteins while these intrinsic integral proteins they constitute about 70% of proteins some intrinsic proteins are very large sized so these intrinsic protein may be completely or partially embedded because these large sized proteins these large sized intrinsic proteins visible on both sides and they form a tunnel a channel so these large sized intrinsic proteins are named transmembranes or tunnel proteins dear students these large sized intrinsic proteins which are present in the phospholipid middle bilayer are named transmembranes or tunnel proteins which constitute which form a tunnel a channel for the passage for the transport of molecules that's why these are named tunnel proteins while these small sized intrinsic proteins may act as enzymes like permeases to allow the movement of substances these intrinsic protein proteins may also act as carrier molecules which involve in selective passage of transport of substances the phospholipid molecules no doubt in this middle layer these phospholipid molecules and each phospholipid molecule is amphiatic or amphipathic it means each phospholipid molecule having 
ए पॉलर हेड एंड दिस पोलर हेड ऑलवेज फेसिस आउटवर्डली एंड इट्स टेल विच आर मेड अप ऑफ फैटी एसिड दीज टेल्स आर नॉन पॉलर द हेड इज हाइड्रोफिलिक वाइल द टेल इज हाइड्रोफोबिक इट मीन्स द फास्ट पोलिपिड मॉलिक्यूल हैविंग बोथ पोलर एंड नॉन पोलर ग्रोव द हेड इज पोलर the tail is non polar the head is hydrophilic and it always faces outwardly while the tail it faces inwardly it means each phospholipid molecule having both groups polar and non polar so the phospholipid molecule is amphitic amphipathic now down another important point some carbohydrate and these carbohydrates are oligosaccharides no down some carbohydrates these are oligosaccharides which associate either with the protein molecule or the phospholipid molecule so the carbohydrate the oligosaccharide which associate with the protein molecules they form glycoprotein and the oligosaccharide carbohydrate which associates with the phospholipid molecule constitute glycolipids these carbohydrates and their association with proteins and phospholipid molecules form cell coat or glycocalyx and this cell coat or glycocalyx which helps in recognition of cells grouping of cells and due to presence of carbohydrates oligosaccharides on the surface of cell membrane the cell membrane becomes asymmetrical dear students this is all about fluid mosaic model singer nicolson model that was given by singer and nicolson in 1972 according to this model very clear this middle phospholipid bilayer it is a viscous layer it is fluid in nature and in this bio membrane the protein molecules which are alpha protein these are globular proteins and these proteins are exist in two forms the proteins the protein molecules which are present on outer surface these are extrinsic and the some protein molecules which are large size present in this middle phospholipid bilayer and these large size protein molecules which act as tunnel channels which involve in the transport of substances across the membrane and these tunnel proteins channel proteins which involve in transport of substances these are named transmembranes or tunnel proteins while the some internal proteins these intrinsic proteins act as carrier molecules which also involve in receptors to receive the specific hormones as well as the association of carbohydrates with protein molecules or phospholipid molecules to produce a cell coat glycocalyx this cell coat cell glycocalyx also involves in cell recognition and due to presence of these carbohydrates their association with the with the proteins and phospholipid the cell membrane becomes asymmetrical this is all about fluid mosaic model